Hey, it's Dave Brown here, host of Now with Dave Brown on AMI. Check out this latest highlight from the show. Last week, Newfoundland and Labrador proposed new, new legislation entitled An Act Respecting Accessibility in the Province. The development for the proposal came together with engagement from different community members, governments and organizations, including the Coalition of Persons with Disabilities. To tell you more about the legislation is Craig Reed, president of COD NL, and we reached Craig from St. John's. Hey, Craig, thank you so much for making time for us this morning. We're very appreciative. Oh, Dave, it's a pleasure to be here and talk about this. It's awesome. So before we get into the legislation, uh, your organization was part of the consultation process. How would you describe that experience? It was amazing to hear from all the stakeholders and persons with disabilities across the communities um, and across our province, coast to coast Newfoundland, Labrador, as well as up in, uh, in or coast to coast Newfoundland and as well as up in Labrador. Um, it was brilliant. Um, the Coalition of Persons with Disabilities compiled all this information and gave to the government. And I got to say, uh, the breadth and depth of the new Accessibility Act is amazing. Mm -hmm. Truly is. Well, let's let's talk about some of that breadth and that depth because we know it's really wide ranging. We know it has to touch on so many different components of the lives of persons with disabilities. So, what did it have to say and address in terms of employment? We know how big an issue that is. Well, what this is, is creating the framework. The, the beautiful thing about this is when I say it has breadth and depth, it, it encompasses pretty much everybody within the disability community. We know um, right now in Canada, we face huge amounts of persons with disabilities across the spectrum. We're looking at 22 to 25% of persons right now in Canada. And in 25 years, we're going to be looking at... Um, approximately 50 to 50 plus percent of our country with disability. So we have to plan ahead now and be proactive to where we're going. So this allows for an accessibility standard advisory board. And that's very important because the seven to nine members, uh, which have had to be persons with disabilities or representatives of community groups uh, for disabilities, as well as at least one person being indigenous. Uh, and this organization will be tasked to figure out immediately, this board, um, to figure out immediately what the biggest issues in Newfoundland and Labrador are. And um, once those are proposed to the minister, uh, John Abbott, then he'll be able to um, take these recommendations to figure out which ones he's going to act on first and which ones apply most to our province. I know that when we're talking about the issues that are so wide ranging and, and impact people's lives so directly that, that it's tough to kind of build those priorities. But what would you like to see as priorities that this legislation and, and that board are particularly going to take head on? I think that uh, one of the biggest things myself as an advocate for, for like I say, too long, um, and the coalition has been started. One of the biggest thing is accessibility in the built environment. Um, moving forward, that has to be a real priority for how we deal with that. Um, we're talking about an aging population base. And with an aging population base comes um, different kinds of health care issues. And one of the issues we face in Canada, as well as in our province, is institutionalized care as being literally the only option when persons are getting older, especially those with uh, issues of getting older. Um, we have to look at strategies of allowing people to age at home. Um, healthcare uh, budgets and, and costs within our country are enormous. And if we don't turn the boat around, so to speak, and look at different strategies uh, of how to deal with this, we're going to be in a lot of trouble. One of the best ways um, is to adopt what I believe is is a UK model, and 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 which Meyer Green supports here as well is that our community-based organisations cannot afford to be allowed to fail. Um, they have to be an integral part in what's going on within our community, our healthcare system, um, healthy living, uh, accessible housing. All this kind of stuff needs to be involved. So the fact that our government are actually taking steps to include these community-based organizations and all the decision-making stuff as it applies to the legislation going forward versus creating legislation without consultation. It's amazing. I got to thank John Abbott, Minister of uh, CSSD, and uh, particularly within the team there, Susan Walsh. Uh, these, these people were brilliant in pull, pulling all this together. Mm. And um, 
I, I think it's going to really make a positive impact on, on how we deal with accessibility in our province moving forward. I, I can tell you're excited. I can tell that this news has been <laughs> received really positive, really positively by you. Is there anything that you're that you're most enthusiastic about in regards to this 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 proposed legislation making it onto the table and and hopefully getting passed through? Is there something that you're most enthusiastic about? Well, uh, uh, it's going to be passed. The third reading will be on December the third, which uh, the new Hydro Proclamation, I believe. Um, during the second reading, there were MHAs uh, throughout that commented on, on what was going on and questioned about regulations, but we're not at the point where regulations are being created yet. Um, but the response from every MHA uh, that was in uh, our House of Assembly was positive. There was no negative at all. And even our opposition recognized that with this legislation, it makes the opportunity that regardless of what party is in power, this legislation has to continue to move forward. Um, we're at end game now in our country when we're talking 25 years left to create accessible environments and accessible strategies for our country, let alone our province. So we really have to be open to new ways of thinking. And one of the big things I always say is ask the experts in the field, which are community-based organizations and persons who this legislation impacts most. Job opportunities, I believe, will be there uh, more so than what was there before, because one of the biggest features about this legislation is education and knocking down attitudinal barriers. To me, that's really impressive that our government are recognizing that aspect of it. And it's something that we as a community face daily and a lot of times is, a, is those attitudinal barriers. So having that educational piece um, is, is, is a real strong asset as well. Mm -hmm. Hey, Craig, we know it's really exciting to see these conversations being had at the federal level. Now it's so many different provinces talking about their legislations and uh, trying to take care of their particular jurisdictions, which is awesome to see. But we know a lot of the advocacy work has been done by organizations like yours. So if people want to learn more about the Coalition for Persons with Disabilities in Newfoundland and Labrador, where can they go? Where can they learn more about the work that you guys are doing? You can go to cardinal.ca um, if you want to hit us up on Twitter. You can hit us at at n l c o d n l, so that's at n l cod n l on Twitter. And if you want to uh, get information from myself personally, you can hit me up on Twitter at at disability n l. And um, Dave, it's been a pleasure speaking with you this morning on this stuff. I got to say. Um, to allow us to brag about where we're to in our legislation <laughs> <laughs> across the country is amazing because um, it truly excites us as a province and a community to have this kind of recognition that we haven't had in a very, very long time, and to be part of the decision-making process is important as well. Well, Craig, it's so awesome to talk to you today and learn about sort of the frameworks that we're talking about, but let's make sure that we catch up again down the road in the next couple of months and we can uh, get an update, see how things are moving along, and uh, we can hear more about all the work that you and your, uh, your colleagues are doing because uh, we know it's really important and really amazing. Appreciate the opportunity. That's fantastic. That's Craig Reed, the president of the Coalition of Persons with Disabilities in Newfoundland and Labrador. Do you want to dive into more conversations like this? Watch Now with Dave Brown weekdays at 9 a.m. Eastern on AMI-tv or download the podcasts wherever you listen. Do you want to dive into more conversations like this? Watch Now with Dave Brown weekdays at 9 a.m. Eastern on AMI-tv or download the podcasts wherever you listen.